So Rainbow Six Siege has apparently launched not just with DLSS, but quietly launched with uh, DLSS 2.2 if you check the system files. And people are finding this interesting because apparently if you copy and paste that DLL file into other DLSS 2.0 games, you can fix some of the image artifacting. And this is according to, uh, apparently this, this was first coming out in this Reddit thread, um, which I can link in my video description about the Rainbow Six DLSS 2.2 looking great. And then people asking for the DLL file to try out in other games. Did you know you can just copy and paste different versions of DLSS DLL files b between games that support DLSS and sometimes it actually seems to work and maybe fix issues? That's weird. I'll show you guys how in just a second. Anyway, um, that spawns some other threads here like Cyberpunk 2077, DLSS 2.1 versus 2.2 and people claiming that it's fixing some image artifacting. Um, again, in Cyberpunk as well as in Death Stranding and uh, and others. So what, what types of things are we seeing? Well, well, one thing people were posting was that there's some checkerboarding here in this gray. I don't know how well this will record in my video because it's pretty subtle, so YouTube compression might destroy it. But then, um, oh wait, sorry, that, that was the one without the checkerboarding. Here's the one with the checkerboarding. And then updating to the 2.2 file, uh, seems to clear up the checkerboarding a lot. That's why we're having trouble seeing it. Although it was still kind of subtle. Hopefully you guys saw it. Anyway, we're also seeing, again, this, sorry, this was the uh, fixed version. Where was the, uh, where was the bad one here? Um, we're seeing in games, uh, is, is this Metro Exodus? I, th I think it's Metro Exodus. Uh, where the night sight here in this game, um, when you're running DLSS, you get this ghosting trail of that as you move it. Whereas apparently, updating to the 2.2 version, is greatly improving that. Uh, there's a WCCF Tech article where they are referencing the Rainbow Six Siege update and also referencing people online finding some improvements in other games. Like in Death Stranding, you see the ghost, uh, the ghosting of the birds here, the, the black trails. That's a uh, artifact you get from running DLSS in that game. And apparently, updating to 2.2, less bird ghosting. Okay. So how do you do this and does it work? Well, okay, you have to open up your Steam library wherever that's located. Now mine isn't in the standard uh, spot to show you here, but normally you'd go to your local disk C, you'd open up like your uh, program files x86, you find Steam, Steam apps, common, and then um, fi find your games. Uh, mine's in a couple different hard drives on my computer and all that, so it's a little different for me, and you might have put yours in different locations as well. But find where your Steam games are located. Then, if you have Rainbow Six Siege, you can scroll down and find the DLL file in here. It looks like, uh, where, 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 nvngx underscore dlss dot dll. And also in these threads, and the, I think it might even be linked in the WCCF Tech article, I'll put both of those in my description, I think somebody did upload this file somewhere um, online if you wanna download it from there, if you don't own the, the Rainbow Six Siege game. Now, if you go to properties, here's how we can tell it's supposedly the uh, 2.2 version, because now we can go to details, and you can see that the product version here is 2.2.6. Now, if I open up another game, so let's say I popped in to uh, a game that I wanted to update. Now, one of the only ones that I have, I, I wish I had Death Stranding to test it out since that seemed really uh, like a dramatic difference, but I have games like um, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. So if I hop into Cyberpunk 2077, then I would look for the DLL file here. Now notice in this one, it's not in the main folder. I believe I found it in the bin. Uh, and then X64, and then I scrolled down and I found, you get, again, you're looking for that same thing, nv, uh, nvngx underscore dlss dot dll, but again, this file version is 2.1.39. So uh, Cyberpunk was using a 2.1 version of dlss and the Rainbow Six Siege has the 2.2 version. Now, if you want to try dragging and dropping these, I'd recommend not losing your original file. For example, I would copy and paste this thing uh, which I've already done, that's why it's saying replace, um, onto your desktop or into a folder somewhere so you don't lose it, uh, then I can just delete the one out of my Cyberpunk folder, 
And then I can take the one out of my uh, my Rainbow Six Siege folder, or if you download it online, where have you got that? And I can just copy and paste that into here. And the game, since it has the same file name, the game's gonna try running using it. And if your, your game has a close enough version of DLSS, it should be able to start up and try running. Now, just for funs, uh, funsies, <laughs> I tried doing this into like a 1.0 version of DLSS, like in uh, Tomb Raider and uh, Monster Hunter, and those crashed using it. However, Monster Hunter and Tomb Raider run different versions of the 1.0 um, DLSS, and I actually could drop, uh, drag and drop the DLSS versions between those, and some people were claiming they saw uh, an import, uh, a performance improvement in Monster Hunter by dropping the Tomb Raider version of the 1.0 into there. Hey, I don't use 1.0 DLSS, so I wasn't that interested. Okay, now I've tested this out, and I've gotta say that personally, um, I've got the videos here, I'll, I'll show you guys, but I didn't feel like I saw a huge reduction in image ghosting uh, when, when I tested this out. So, first of all, here's running the 2.1 version, and maybe, uh, and, and what, I, what I want you guys to see is, first of all, this is the game without DLSS, and look at the, the license plate here. Cyberpunk has one of its image ghosting things that happen in Cyberpunk is the license plate. And you'll notice there's not image ghosting here because this part is shot at native. Now, when I turn on DLSS to one of the, especially to one of the lower modes, but I think it happens on all of them a bit, uh, watch here, especially in dark scenes, you'll start to see uh, at certain points, the license plate appear like it has a ghosted image trailing behind the car as it's driving. It's a bit subtle, but right there, I can see it in the street, um, just a little bit. It'll happen again, especially when I get to shadowy places. Um, now it's subtle, it's not that big of a deal. It, it happens worse in some scenes when you're driving around at night, especially. Right there, I saw some ghosting. Right there, I saw a big one flash for just a second. So there's some image ghosting here. And again, this was on the 2.1 version that's built into Cyberpunk. Now, I shot this one using the uh, 2.2 file, and I feel like I still see some image ghosting on the license plate in these same shadows. So, maybe, it, maybe it's less? I feel like I still see some here, though. Uh, right there, I just saw a flash of it. There's a little bit of that license plate in the street. Um, so, I don't feel like it's gone, at least under my testing. So. I'm really curious how much of this is like a placebo effect where the image ghosting maybe doesn't happen all the time and you drop in your 2.2 version and you pop up the game, start playing it and you happen to not see a lot of the ghosting or see less of the ghosting and so you think it's because of the update or is it really solving it? I really wish I had Death Stranding. Uh, to test it out, but I don't at this point because like those bird, that shot of the birds, that seemed like a big deal. So here's why, you know, you guys can help out by testing this out if, if you want to in your own games and let me know how it goes in the comments section. Does it seem like the 2.2 file from uh, Rainbow Six Siege solves the, solves image ghosting issues? Is your game even stable? Does it crash? Like I said, I don't have a bunch of games to do extensive testing on here. It at least seems stable in Cyberpunk uh, from the bit that I played. Anyway, a uh, big thank you to my subscribers. Uh, you guys are beautiful people. A, uh, you know, definitely post in the comment section. I'm gonna be reading these. I'm very interested if you guys try this out. An extra special thank you to my channel members. And also, if you want to support things like me buying a whole bunch of games to test stuff out, that's expensive for me and a lot of my videos make like $2 in ad revenue. So I can't buy a $60 game to test something out uh, financially. But if I got more channel members, I recently launched that join button down there, um, then maybe I could drop some money on buying a bunch of games to test things like these out in the future. I hope you all have an excellent day.